Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well today, especially as we're getting closer and closer to the holidays. I wanted to do a, a little video and give you all an update on the mouse situation. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I posted a couple weeks ago that we've discovered we've got new inhabitants in our house, little mice. And we haven't seen a lot. They're only in the basement. Um, we've been, I have done live traps and cause I live right on the edge of a nature preserve. And so plenty of room for them to move about and totally understand why they've come into the house. It's warmer in here. I get it. Um, they have not gotten into any food. They haven't come up onto the, onto our, we only have one floor onto the living floor, if you will, because yay, Lucas is here to help. Um, but we have noticed some droppings in the basement. So we started to do live traps and we would catch a couple, maybe some days there were four we would capture and quietly release back into the into the nature preserve. Um, so anyway, so I posted that on Instagram and Facebook and I thought I would give everybody a little update on what's happened. So, because of course, being an animal communicator, there was, there's no way, no way that I could bear to do the whole extermination, exterminator, poison, that type of stuff. I just couldn't do it. I knew that, I know why they're here, I get it. And I also knew that they were sending us a message too. There goes my nose switching. Um, they're gonna send us a message too. So I began to, over these last couple of weeks, communicate with the mice in particular, and also look up mice totem, mice meetings, or mouse totem, mouse meetings, and it really has to do with the details, really looking at the details, which made, made so much sense for me personally with all the things that are going on and all the ideas I have and how to move forward and grow the business and all these good things. And the mice were saying, look at the details, which was interesting because I found them by seeing tiny their tiny little droplets on a towel that I had left on a couch downstairs. Had I not left that towel there, I probably wouldn't see it because the couch is the same color. It's like a dark, real dark gray. I would have never seen it, but had I left a green towel, bam, I saw them. Anyway, so their meaning or their totem, if you will, is about like um, the details, looking at the details. So I also communicated with them, but then I started talking with Archangel Ariel who, suggested that I see who's what saint is um, involved with. I don't want to say in charge of because we're never in charge, right? Um, what what saint has to do with protecting mice? And that's actually Saint Gertrude. And there's this whole thing about how people think of her as the protector of cats. She's actually the protector of mice, but cats have a role to play. It's a whole story. You can Google it. So I so Archangel Ariel asked me to also include Saint Gertrude who then also suggested I include the mouse diva. So for those of you who aren't familiar with this, as animal communicators, actually anybody, um, you can talk to a, um, a representative or the main representative of any species by talking to the diva of that uh, um, uh, species. You can do this with plants too, which is really cool. I just, there's a book in one of the videos that I did here about book recommendations. I did a book called uh, The Elves of Lily Pond Farm, I think it's called. Yes, it, no, Lily Hill Farm. The, the Elves of Lily Hill Farm. And she talks, the author talks to the divas of different plants that are growing on her farm in an effort, as well as the elves, in an effort to help bring he, he health and holistic um farming practices and gardening practices to the farm. Anyway, so St. Gertrude suggested that I include the mouse diva. So all, I was talking to all three of them on almost a daily basis, asking what we needed to do to make sure to work with the mice, to ask them if they would please not live in our house. Um, and what happened was so cool. So they were constantly, particularly the mouse diva, was um, saying, just give us a little time. We're going to try and move everybody out. We understand that, you know, they, you'd rather not have us there. There may be one or two and that's okay. But just, you know, that was a compromise, which was fine. And we're going to slowly move them out. And you live trapping them actually helps facilitate that. So I continue to do the, the live trapping until earlier this week, earlier this week, 
I went downstairs and she had said, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. And St. Gertrude and Archangel were, were agreeing. And um, I went downstairs on Monday and the trap had been set, like deployed, but all of the food in it was gone and there were no mouse trappings. Cause anytime I would grab a live trap, you know, a, a little mouse inside the live trap, you know, all around the live trap, there'd be droppings, peanut butter be gone, all the good stuff. So this time the trap was completely shut, no mouse in it, food gone, no droppings. And I heard from all three of them, we're done. So I thought, great, that's super cool. Also, though, in the meantime, my husband had gone down in the basement and done some really deep, had done a deeper investigation to figure out where they were coming in. And we found, we do think, we're pretty sure we know where they're coming in from. And we have a crawl space that's actually right underneath my office, interestingly enough. So I did a bunch of um, research and I found that you can encapsulate the crawl spaces, which would seal off anything, any gaps coming in from the outside. So I called the company, got a recommendation, got a called the company. This wonderful gentleman came out, did a thorough inspection, found in fact where the mice are coming in from and gave me a quote that my husband and I can afford and we're gonna have the crawl space encapsulated in the next week or so. So I'm so grateful to the Mouse Diva, Archangel Ariel and St. Gertrude and all of the mice for pushing us to come up with a solution together that didn't involve poisoning them or killing them. Because when we really looked at the details, we found a solution that works for all. And added bonus, it'll help increase the value of our home. It actually will help keep my office gets a little chilly <laughs> because of where it sits. And I have this car space underneath me. It'll actually help keep my feet and Lucas, who usually lays at my feet as he is right now, it will help keep us warmer. Um, and it just is a much better solution all around. So I couldn't be more excited about all this and thought a video would be a better way to describe it. Um, but mice, so, so grateful for them. So grateful to have me look at the details, not only for the house and for their welfare, and also just for all the things that they're trying to point out to me. And I'm so grateful to Archangel Ariel, St. Gertrude, and of course, the Mouse Diva. I'd love to hear what you think about all of this. And, uh, and I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. So I hope to see you back here again soon. I'm trying to do uh, more videos about, I have a million topics and I just can't even get them out of my head. Anyway, I'm just really grateful right now for all of these entities that have helped me. And I'm grateful for you for being here. And I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day.